So when he started putting an ohm meter in between, he found out every time you know the, there was a difference in that person's uh, energy field, he had a different ohm meter. And out of this, that was basically the beginning of radionics. And then it took uh, quite a big step, and England took a, a, a big step forward, and they're still practicing radionics in an in a official way um, for human health. And uh, there are different books and rates written about it for all these different um, uh, instruments. And you, when you do courses you, and, and you, 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 you come to one of these events, you get these radio signals really, right? But again, you might say somebody tells you, uh, for example, uh, liver or, or spleen is that, that signal. But I, we make sure that signal is not just a standard for you. What else do you need? So when you put sounds in, that's the saying like 528 is your DNA. If that's fine, then we will broadcast 528 through this instrument to you. But maybe for you it's 529 or 527. So when we scan and make sure before we turn anything on and broadcast, we always make sure this is what you really need. So there is some guidelines out there, but we customize it to each situation. Well, that's huge, the duty of care that you have. And do you find there's a lot of variances in, in people or even within families of, um, you know, say, the frequency 